Hey YouTube, how's it going? J Mayhem here, Mayhem Vape 15. Uh, today we're going to get into a review of something I've had for a while. I've used it for a lot of my reviews on uh, RDAs and stuff. We're going to take a look at the IPv3 LI. So, let's dive down and take a look at this thing. Alright, here we have the box. IPv3 LI. Simple box. Nice little design on it. I have the black edition. Take a look at it. There's the side. LED screen, dual 18650 batteries. In the back, it says in the packaging you have the device, the USB cable, the user manual, and the gift box. You guys are looking at right now. It says 10 watts to 165 watts. I have the upgraded version that goes up to 200 watts. So let's break this thing open. Open it up. Pretty straightforward. You have the IPv3 LI, the user's manual. You have a certificate in here is stamped and you have the USB cable for upgrading it is not for charging you will have to get a charger for your batteries so let's put this away and this is the IPv3 LI this is the um, I guess you can call it the front as the pioneer for you logo down here it says IPv3 LI and it says it has the Yihi SX330V3SL chip. That's what all that fine writing right there says. It has on the back part of it, it has the IPv logo in this little plastic. Uh, looks There's stars and stuff stuff inside of it. It doesn't light up or anything. That It's there for looks. It's alright. On the bottom we have some vent holes and your uh, port for your um, upgrading your software. This is the back with the battery door. It says open. You just slide that down and you can grab a hold of that and open it. It sits in a track here, so the door doesn't really rattle around or anything. It is wired in series, so positive up, and then flip the other way, positive down for this side. Let's put this one in. Then we can put this one in. Fold the back over. And you just line it up. And it slides right up. There's a ball bearing up top here that locks in, and there's also a little rubber pad that helps it from sliding. Like it's got, it's a little bit tough. It's got some tolerance to it to pop it open. Here's the front. It's got your OLED screen, your fire button, these little tactile buttons for adjustments here. On the top, it has a touch sensor for firing. And it has a flush sitting spring loaded 510. So, five clicks to turn it on. And it'll light up IPv3 LI. And you have your menu. It says check atomizer. I'll screw my uh, velocity on here. So press that. It's reading 100 watts. It has a 0.24 ohm build in it. It is reading 4.89 volts at 100 watts. To do any adjustments, it's up and down. To do the initial adjustment, if you want to just adjust from where you're at, you have to press the down button first, and then you can adjust it up. Because if you just press the up button, it will um, scroll through 
the different memory settings. And I think it has five of them. Yeah, it has five. So if I wanted to adjust from here, I'd press it down and then up. There's no problem firing. To get into the menu, five clicks. It says system. You would press uh, one of these buttons here and it will turn the system off. Go so here, it's mode. I'm in power mode right now, but I can go to jewel mode for temperature control and press that button, adjust it, and fire buttons to select. Units in Fahrenheit or in Celsius. Uh, select your temp. Right now, mine is at 509. Up and down buttons adjusted, of course. And select your coil nickel Ni200 or titanium Ti01. And exit. You'll just press one of these buttons to exit. I'm going to flip it back to power mode and then exit. And that's it. That's pretty much everything that's there for standard um, standard box to read your ohms that you have. You press these two buttons at the same time and it will read it. This one is reading at point two three six. Uh, I guess on the main screen it rounds it up a little bit to point two four. So that is a resistance. To turn this touch screen on up top, press the fire button and up at the same time. And it turns the touch on. So now the touch is on. When your screen is lit up, you can touch that and it will fire. To turn the touch back off, press the fire button and down at the same time and it will say touch off. And that's it. Simple box. I've had it for a while. I've beat it up. You can see there's a couple of scratches. When I had the atomizer off, you can see there's a kind of a big scratch about the size of an atomizer from screwing different ones on and off. I think my Goblin Mini tank actually scratched that up. But that's it. This simple little build in my velocity right now. Juicer up. And I've had no problems with this. This is a my go-to box. Very, uh, very reliable. Um, I use it at work, so I kind of beat it up a lot too. I used to have a silicone protector on it. I lost that. I don't know where it went, but I don't really need it. So put that back on and. It definitely puts out. So we'll come back up. Hey guys, how's it going? I was just looking um, online. Uh, my vapor store. They do not have them in stock right now, but they'll probably be restocking them soon. They have them for seventy-one dollars. That's the unupgraded version, and it's not too bad. Seventy-one bucks isn't bad for. A really sturdy box, a really, really nice mod. It fits in the hand pretty nice. Like, I don't have the biggest hands, I got some beefy hands, and I can still almost wrap fully around it. It fits comfortable. I like these little uh, diagonal cutouts that they got. I usually rest my pinky right there on the bottom one. I hold it like this. And I fire like <coughs> all right guys that is the um, IPV 3 li uh, really good box uh, stand it stood the test of time for me I know a few people with them and they still love theirs. I know there's a lot of other boxes and stuff coming out. The Relo RX 200, DNA 200, that's a triple 18650 box. Um, 
I don't believe that this hits a true 200. I think it pulses after 150 watts, but I never really vape over like 120. So it doesn't bother me at all. And um, the DNA 200s, I'm not really one for that software type stuff. So I'm fine with it as it is. Just screw an Addy on it, screw a tank on it, and go. Um, I do have some other stuff coming up. Uh, my local shop, New York Vape Club, in a uh, small town, New Paltz, New York. It's a really nice shop, good people there. I was talking to the owner, Dylan, and uh, he, I will be checking in and doing videos at the shop of stuff that they have in stock right then. Um, I'll put a link in the description to their website. You can check them out. I'm pretty sure they'll ship almost anywhere. Um, help you guys out. Help me out. Um, if you're ever in the area, stop by. Check out the shop. And uh, that's about it for tonight. So take it easy, guys. Keep vaping. Stay off cigarettes. Uh, do your part to uh, help us with uh, CASA and any FDA or legal things that might be coming on soon. Inform people. Knowledge is power, right? And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.